always open your statues when you get them. Stay tuned to find out why. So right here we have Dizzy 1-7 scale from Connecticut. Now Dizzy is a character from a video game franchise called Guilty Gear. If you're not familiar with Guilty Gear, best way I can describe it is take Street Fighter, Darkstalkers, and the Dragon Ball Z games, put them in a blender, and that's kind of what you get here. So Dizzy is actually my favorite character to play in Guilty Gear. So when this statue actually came up for order, you know I had to pick it up as soon as it came out. Now, believe it or not, when I placed this order, I'm not going to mention who I placed the order with. Um, kind of uh, left a bitter taste in my mouth, but at the same time, can't really blame them. So that's why I'm gonna, I am not going to mention names. So like I was saying, when I placed this order, I placed it years ago. I kid you not, it took just over five years to get the statue in hand. Now, when I finally got it, I've mentioned this before, I have a very, very bad habit of getting a statue and just kind of putting it off, leaving it in my storage shed or my garage for a very, very long time. Not that I'm not excited about the statue, it's just I have such a busy lifestyle that it's hard for me just to get at statues, unbox them, etc., etc. So needless to say, it was eight months after I got dizzy where I decided to finally, finally take it out of the box. Put the whole thing together and I realized these energy effects, yeah, I was missing some. So real quick, as you can see right here in the bottom, there's supposed to be another one coming up right here and right here on the side, another one arching over like that. And that's just to emphasize or to show, display one of her special attacks in the game. So you can imagine I was very upset. I was very heartbroken and I tried to resolve the issue. So I reached out to the company where I ordered it from and, um, Basically, they said that they had no extra parts, statue has been sold out, and because I waited so long to open the statue that it was my fault. And they were not, able, they were not gonna be able to assist me with getting replacement parts. Kind of upset about that, but at the same time, I can see their point. Now, here's a side note for people who are trying to get statues or in my case trying to get pieces of a statue watch out for scammers no i did not get scammed but when i reached out on different social media platforms about what had happened here um i had a lot of people reaching out to me saying that you know they could sell me the pieces that i need or actually in a whole new statue for very cheap that they actually had this statue for cheap. So I asked for pictures and they sent me pictures. <laughs> Funny thing though, I was doing a lot of my own research and every time I would ask people if they could send me pictures of the statue in hand or maybe just like a little post-it with today's date on it, dead silence or no response, whatever the case may be. I even looked on eBay and uh, somebody did have this entire statue for sale, uh, took their own pictures, but another guy who reached out to me, trying to scam me, was saying, using those pictures and saying he had it in hand, willing to sell it to me for a discounted price. So when I reached out to that guy and I said, hey, are you selling the statue on eBay? Of course, he asked, why do you ask? I take screenshots and I send it to him, silence. So needless to say, I had a lot of people that trying to, I guess, take advantage of the situation I was in. And I decided just to give up. Now I will say this, I did have somewhat of a ray of light being hopeful, didn't pan out, but I do have to give and I'm sorry, I can't re not remember the name of the owner of Connecticut's, 
But he actually saw one of my Facebook posts and he reached out to me trying to help me. Of course, I told him, you know, understandable. It's, you know, if somehow you're able to get these pieces, I'd be willing to pay for them. No problems, no issues. So he tried, but again, because this statue, again, when I placed the pre-order, it was five years till I actually got it in hand. I don't know why that was. I don't know if the company that I ordered freighted from wasn't, didn't get it in a timely manner. But anyway, the owner of Connecticut's basically was not able to help me, couldn't find any spare parts for this. Um, so I'm still on the hunt to see if I can get these pieces. Now, my only alternative, I have not tried it yet and I need to, is there's some people at local cons that occur pretty frequently. They do a lot of 3D printing. I'm thinking about going in that avenue where asking them, basically telling them about my situation with this statue and say, look, I just need some of the energy effects created again, if that's possible. I'm, I mean, I'm willing to go that route. The only good thing about it is that, yeah, it won't be original, but at the same time, I could at least have some input on how these energy effects can look but I still would want it to be as close to the original statue as I would, as it could be. So that's my story real quick about why you should open your statues as soon as you get them. But if anything like that has ever happened to you, leave a comment down below. But let's go ahead and get to the review. So the base where the actual figure, the statues actually sit, it's a very, very rocky scenery. A little bit of moss, a little bit of grass here and there, but not too much. Basically this whole thing is supposed to be rock. And it's designed that way to really emphasize the power of Dizzy. Basically, yeah, she's under a uh, rock setting, a rock base, but her power is just that enormous power just tearing up all the rocks. And that's the motion, the sense that I get with this statue where we do see all the rocks just kind of like crumbling, collapsing on itself, coming upwards, things of that nature. And even though I only have these energy effects right here, we can see that the rocks are actually kind of floating, are kind of being pulled in by these energy effects. So just, again, just really emphasize that power that Dizzy actually has. So the dilemma I had was how do you display this statue? On one way, you can display it long ways. That definitely would work. But one of the biggest issues if you display it, for example, this way, a lot of this character, he blocks the rest of Dizzy and the other character that she has on the other side. You can do it this way, which I think is better, but again, this character then kind of blocks Dizzy. Not so much this guy, but she does kind of block Dizzy. So, yes, you can display it on a, a long ways, but it's gonna, either way, it's gonna be blocking Dizzy, which is the main character, or you can display it forward which is kind of cool because i can only imagine if i had the energy effects they'd be engulfing the statue like this and kind of a uh, vortex of energy just kind of coming at you blasting towards you and you would be able to see all three of the characters so again very cool statue but also very difficult to display because even on my display cases stands because it's so long of a statue this end point, literally a point on the statue <laughs> makes it very hard and very scary to leave it because it does stick out from where the beginning of the display case is. So again, it's just a hard statue to display. Just a quick note on the energy effects. I definitely love that it's, I don't know if it's a clear resin. It feels more like of a clear plastic, which is cool because I would never. I prefer these pieces to be more sturdy than non-sturdy because I've had a couple of statues where yes the energy energy effects are resin I should say looks very cool but it's also very very fragile but nonetheless it's cool it's a pink shade um, see-through so that's another cool thing as just to emphasize more of that energy effect and I really wish I had the other ones too to really show how dynamic this thing should be looking so if you're not familiar with Dizzy or Guilty Gear, long story short, she was basically born this way. And she's always struggling with that dichotomy of good and evil, because basically what we have here, she does, these two characters do branch out from her back. She actually does have wings, one kind of a bluish whitish, one kind of a blackish 
are hunter green, very dark. Now they are wings and throughout the game when she's battling, they do transform into these actual characters. So she kind of literally has an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other. Now the characteristics about these two, Dizzy not, doesn't necessarily have control over them. They do have their own personalities and a lot of times you will see these two clashing with each other because they both want what's in the best interest of Dizzy. But of course, because they have different mindsets, different personalities, one's an angel, one's a demon, they do clash a lot because they have different aspects of how taking care of Dizzy should be. Now, even though these two battle a lot with each other, they do come together to protect Dizzy. And that's what this statue is. They're actually combining their forces to basically put out this badass attack, badass energy effects, and basically annihilate the opponent. But let's start off with the left side, the angel part of Dizzy. As we can see, she is reaching out, really emphasizing that she is initiating the attack, showing her powers off. Now, what's really cool is the paint job. It's kind of like this blue or light blue kind of shade of color. Her hair is just flowing just crazy all the way back, obviously because she's shooting off this energy effect, this blast, so her hair is just flowing everywhere. And remember, they come out of Dizzy's wings or they actually transform into these characters when they're initiated, when they attack. Now on the right side, we have this demon or more of a Grim Reaper looking kind of character. Um, I would say this, that dude looks freaking evil as hell. It looks like, um, again, like cloak demon, this Reaper coming to take you. And what's really cool is that you really see the feathers on him. They're just sticking out everywhere. I mean, he's supposed to be the evil. Obviously he's more this dark hunter green. The feathers are also that green different shadow shadings, different color tones. You know, his, his hands here are very skeletal. I mean, there is a very light layer of skin there, but those hands, those fingers look very evil, ready to grab and claw at something. And he's dressed in a hood, as you can see, basically giving to that Grim Reaper vibe. Has that necklace on him. And if you look at the, that face, you can see a skull with some red demon looking evil eyes. And then finally, Dizzy herself. So Dizzy, I just love her character design. Very cute, um, very long blue hair with these ponytails, I guess if you want to call them, yellow. Um, her attire, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a very cool looking attire. She has these stockings, straps around her thighs, uh, somewhat of a half kind of dress, black and white. Uh, not shoulder pads, but she does have these very thick, um, I don't want to call them shoulder pads, but right here on her shoulders, they just hang out, but very thick, very heavy. Um, kind of a very elegant looking character, but I will definitely say the character design, we can see that emphasis on both good and evil. Not only with the color choice, but just the design choice work. At the same time, yes, yeah, she's looking very cute, very innocent, but at the same time, a little bit sexy there. And the portrait on Dizzy, yes, yeah, she is kind of giving that freaking out look. But again, Dizzy, she's not necessarily in control of these two characters. They're part of her, yes, but they're always clashing with each other. They always try to actually, well, the angel side tries to protect Dizzy, but this one's always trying to just take over and dominate. So she's always having this literally internal conflict with herself. So a lot of times when these attacks happen, it's not really of her choosing. Sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. But when it's not and she just basically along for the ride, it's pretty devastating attacks that she can do. And one thing I forgot to mention real quick, she does have a tail because of course, even though she's supposed to be good and evil, really emphasize that evil part with this really long tail. But of course, we want to be good, so what do we have? A little bow on this freaking demonic looking tail on her. And then finally, her hair just flowing everywhere. Again, just emphasizing that energy effect, that power, the blast coming from all of these characters all at once to basically annihilate whoever's in front of them. So I don't have any complaints about the statue itself. Obviously, you know I'm missing some pieces of this. That's the only thing that's upsetting, but again, that's nothing to do with the statue itself. Um, my only complaint about the statue, again, just emphasizing, very difficult to display. But other than that, I really like this statue a lot. And if you have the right display case or a place where you can just 
display her appropriately. Yeah, this is a badass statue. But again, I'll be hunting for these pieces, but hey, if by any chance you have these pieces that I'm missing, you know, you have a broken statue that you just can't get rid of now, but you do have the energy effects, let me know. But regardless of that, guys, let me know what you think about this statue. So leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps me out tremendously. And as always, collect what makes you happy.